This is your weekly trip to paradise, Louisiana style, with Gary Rispone. Paradise, Louisiana is brought to you by Circle K, Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change, Demco, CCA Louisiana, and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament, Relief Windows, and by Farm Bureau Insurance. Welcome to the second 30-minute edition of Paradise, Louisiana. Here we are at Bazaron, Boudin and Cajun meet here in Port Allen, one of my favorite places. You can see here what we all we have here to eat. They give us to eat, get us to take home. It's just unbelievable stop here. To eat and whatever you want to take home, be sure to stop at Bazaron. And they got six or seven other stores around the state. One day when Mooney gets back, I'm going to let him tell you about all those stores and how successful they've been. Uh, I told you this would be our second, <laughs> our second ever 30 minute show. Uh, we're doing a little Justin. I'm going along and listening to Chris and listening to other people. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do something a little different. We always say the fish report to the end. Uh, most people tune in, especially our late shows. Uh, they have to, you want to have to wait till the end of the show to get the fish report and the event calendar. So I'm gonna start off the show this week. I'm gonna start with the fish report, the event calendar and news, and then we're gonna finish the show. We're gonna go out from where I've been that week before, or a couple of weeks before, and we'll be fishing, hunting, or a weigh in, or a big event. So stay tuned, Paradise, Louisiana. We involved them, we doing a little bit different, but uh, don't give up on us. And what you don't see here, Pretty soon we're gonna have a lot on Facebook and a lot on, on YouTube. So you can be able to, even if you don't stay up, you can ride in your car, you can pick it up on your phone. You watching Paradise, Louisiana from Bedrooms, Boudin, Cajun Me. I'm Brett Favre. As a quarterback in the NFL, if I didn't stay focused, I ended up on my back or worse. Even the smallest distraction could make a good play or offensive drive come to an end. When you're in a car, the smallest distraction could end much more than a drive. It could end someone's life. Just like I refuse to lose on the field, I refuse to lose someone I love to distract the driver. And you should too. Focus on the road. Don't drive distracted. A message from Farm Bureau Insurance. When my wife and I started Relief Windows, what our goal was to give a quality job to a homeowner. Everybody's scared of contractors. We wanted to change the mold of what that is. The reason why you should pick Relief Windows to do your renovation of your home, windows, doors, hardy plank or siding, is because of the experience, quality, service of our company. We're gonna show up on time, we're gonna do the job right. The job's not done until you're happy and we're happy. We believe you deserve a quality job. You know I don't talk well, but I'm gonna try to talk as fast and get to all this in. Uh, Freshwater, Lake Means, I mean, I've never heard of that. This is Harrisonburg, in some pitching with Dirk, Dirk Foster, Andy Foster, bunch of brim and catfish, they had family fun over there. Lake Barrette, they're coming in like crazy again. Mr. Gilbert Melanson on his 80th birthday. His son Jason took him out there and they look at these catfish. I mean, he got, they got a sink full of them. And Sackalay, in Stephenville, and, and one of our legends, and one of the Paradise Louisiana original uh, owner and, and co-host, Joe Macaluso, was fishing with uh, Steve Fontana and, and, and Skip Knapp, and this is what they got right here. Look at the size of these. These are both of these are over two pounds on live shining. Uh, freshwater reports, too. I'm still getting reports from Lotto and Celine, everybody catching fish, Sackalay, fishing in these little canals off of them. Uh, the water's going down. There's still some landings you can't get in in, in the wildlife management area, but all the other ones are open on Lotto. So that's my freshwater report. Bass, I'm getting reports from False River. Uh, catfish again, everywhere. This catfish, you get you some night crawlers. Even they're catching, they're catching catfish in Lake Barrette on crickets. 
So same thing in False River right now. There's a bunch of bass being caught at False River in Gibson. I just know when our tide is right down in Gibson, in Amelia area, people catching bass. So that's the fishing report. That's the freshwater fishing report. I'm going to go to the, the coast right now. Uh, I'm going to start off the sick, um, I'm talking about the fishing report right now from Miss Angie and David, uh, Lake, Lake Captain. Captain Drake been having some good trips. they finding clear water. they lemon out on redfish without any trouble. But they, uh, they're also catching some sheephead and some bass. The people that want to run to the chandelier, and the same thing coming from Tofield. When they can get out there and win a bed, they, and they're playing, they are catching trout, nice trout. So out that way. Cocodry is another place. It's unbelievable what they're doing. Uh, Ronnie Stamper, Stamper and Mark Wilson, they stand there. They're the overfish in Terrebonne Bay. Uh, they got Cullen Thomas, Tyler Randazzo, and Christopher Thomas. That's their grandsons. They were... Had a great trip at Cocodry. <coughs> Lake Pension, excuse me, Lake Ponson Train. My good friend Ken Lambert had his grandsons in town. They catching everything. With all that fresh water, they catching fish in and in, in the area, right there in the camps, around their camps and in the canals of subdivision. They running trout lines, they catching them free lining uh, catfish. But the redfish are where they've been. If you watch Chaz, on his Matrix Task channel or his Dockside TV, they are right there in Lake Train, right where the subdivision is coming out. They went over there. He took them. They limited out in no time. So uh, it must be nice, though, when you got your grandkids and they're coming in and they're having fun, uh, especially in a, in a tying time for the, for the Lambert family. Uh, Fouchon. I was there for the rodeo. And I, and it, uh, red snapper, everything coming in at Fouchon. Speckled trout, they fish in the barges when they can. Only trouble with the barges, the word is out, whether they're coming from us or whoever. It, they had 60 boats around three barges the other day. So the boys said they caught 10 and were nice, but they're doing it. <clears throat> Chris was supposed to give me an interview. I'm going to holler out for Chris right now and congratulate him and his wife. They had twins. I don't even know what they were, but they say the twins are coming home. He took a shower after he got off the boat. He went to Baton Rouge to get his twins. So we'll find out more, and I'm going to get a, a fresh report as soon as I can from Chris Moran. Uh, There's the some pictures, pictures I was trying to get. These people from Texas were doing a great good, a great job. Cody Breckenridge, her husband's originally from down there. They, they live in Texas now. Uh, you see the size of these my my or the dolphin they caught. He also had the winning dolphin in there. Uh, Leeville, Kenny Kenny Haynes. He sent me some pictures where they were fishing out of Leeville. K and Jenny, 108 specks and white trout together. Carolina rig and a cockahoe. Sycamore Point snapper. People running out of Sycamore Point. They had a pretty good run, but Stuart. B.O. and family, tremendous job. Grand Dollar again, Ken Nockan, still hair, wearing them out. El Mazala, I, I got to walk the island. I, I won't have time to bring some, you know, all that to you and talk to people. Crabs are running on El Mazala. On approach to El Mazala, they're catching a few, but the bigger crowd are in the surf. We see people catching fish and, and waiting in the surf. It was calm like crazy, but it was hot. But they had enough breeze that I could stand it. I walked up and down Elmer's Island. Grand Dye, John Donahue and them fishing out of Fouchon, Grand Dye. He's a girl trip. They, Henry, look at these girls, these young girls. They were out there during the holidays. Unbelievable catch of snapper. And then uh, this is a cobia from Grand Dye, Miss Melissa Lorio. So that's the fishing report. And I'm going to come back real quick and I'm going to give you a little news and the tournament report. I've been asking him to change the oil for months now, and he never did. So I finally just went to Benny's. They even washed my car for free. Uh-huh. And you know what? It was amazing. Yeah, I left Benny's and got home before Rob even knew I was gone. 
<laughs> Benny? Who the heck is Benny? I ramble. I don't know whether I, I'm gonna give you some news, uh, but I'm gonna save the bad news for the end of this report. Look, the rodeos right now. Let me give you the rodeos coming up, so you can put it on your calendar. Some of them are later. Some of them are the first of August. But the Slamboree, that's just coming with uh, July 20th. That's gonna be at Topwater in Leeville. Uh, they got the All Man's coming up this week. The all man's gonna be in Fouchon this weekend, the same tent that we had the, the Fouchon, and I mean, the Golden Medal Fouchon Rodeo. You got the Fall Pie in Venice and the Grand Isle the last weekend in Grand Isle. Don't forget them, both of them big, both of them popular. And uh, you, you, might, you might, we heard today that by Friday, we probably have a tropical depression in the Gulf. So where it's gonna go and where it's gonna move, wherever it is, but. Uh, I think we got tournaments coming up. Also, last year we covered, I don't know if we can get there, but they got the Salty Kids coming up. That's August 2nd and 3rd at Sand Dollar and Grand Isle. You find, go to their website, Salty Kids, and find out more about it. I think it's 18 and under, uh, and they're two days away in. The Ascension Area Anglers, they're having their annual tournament. It's, you can go anywhere and they be there or wherever. It's gonna be August 17th, and both sides are dry around landing, so I don't know how far the spillway is gonna be down, but they're catching fish on the other side right now, you can believe it. Uh, then I'm gonna see what else we got coming up. Uh, no, this is a tournament that just happened last week. Lies and Lunkers off the North Shore, they fished the, the pool bluff, and uh, the winners were Rusty and Christian Bodet. They're 16.4, and they also had big bass at 4.78. We're going to run the pictures of the big bass and the second place trophy, too. Uh, the cookie jar, the famous one at False River. There's the guy that runs it, Storm Randall, him and Stuart Woodman. Uh, they first place this week. They, a lot of times they've been coming in second, but it took first place at 8.79. Paul and Lawson Peters with 8.23. Big Bass, David Pluckett with 2.56, and that's it. Now, the news, remind y'all, it's election year. Pretty soon on all these shows, you're going to be hearing, people, hearing from the governor candidates. They have a lot to do. Even your legislators are going to have a lot to do with what's happening with the land use, happening with what the divergence is coming up. All this stuff is political right now. You have to be. If I got time, I did an interview with Joe Macaluso, who he was at the Go to Metafushan Rodeo, and he's a legend outdoors. He knows he covers all the wildlife and fishing meeting. He had a few words from him. If I got time, I want to use it. And then uh, the rest of the show are all going to be about to weigh in. How long have you been doing these rodeos out here? You know, um, you're still working. I think I covered the first one in 1979 here. So, um, except for last year when I had to miss, uh, it's been every year since 1979. Catholic Eye Rodeo, the Grand Isle Rodeo. Grand Isle Rodeo for about 25, 26 years now, 27 maybe. I kind of lose count after a while. Every, everywhere I go, people want to know, where's Joe Macklin? What's he doing? Now, he's still in the paper. I thought he retired. Give us the inside track. Well, I'm, I, you know, I'm on a contract. You know, I do, I do, you know, writing twice a week. Um, I write for other people. I mean, you know, it's not a big secret. Um, but I don't do a lot. I mean, I want to be retired. And my wife says I get an F in retirement. So, um, you know, it's, it's just the thing of keeping your hand in the pot, you know, keep stirring the pot a little bit. Um, you know, I keep telling people when I, when I took the job, I guess almost 28 years ago, we had at least six full-time outdoor riders in the state, and now we don't have any full-time outdoor riders, none. So I think it's really important that you know we keep the outdoor community in the sportsman's paradise, um, kind of abreast of what's going on, 
uh, state, uh, local, federal, um, you know, regulations keep increasing. There's just too many things going on that, that, you know, we can't ignore what's happening in the outdoors. You want to know where Joe Macaluso is? Just look at the advocate. Joe, you know, you've been in the outdoors a little bit lately. Here's your grandsons and your son. Uh, had a great picture you put in the paper in Sacolay, but you had a little bit to do with it in Verrett. Well, the Sacolay, you know, I got to thank Steve Fontana, you know, and, and Slip Knapp, you know, for, for getting us on those fish. I know Steve and, and Slip are on those fish a lot. And, um, you know, they're just, there's a Sacolay run going on in, uh, in, Lake, in the Verrett Basin. Um, I'm not just going to say in Lake Verrett. But if you want to go catch catfish, if you want to put catfish in the, in the pot, catfish in the freezer, now's the time to go. I think, you know, about, we, we had 23 nice sackalay, threw a few of them back, the smaller ones, but uh, we caught 10 catfish while we were fishing. So the catfish are there. You know, if you want to go, I know guys are can, but look, understand there's a limit on catfish. Okay, so make sure you know the regulations before you go. I'll tell you what, I got some pictures in this week too from Red right Air catching catfish everywhere though. Yes. Thank you, Joe, I miss okay. you. I love you. Love you too, Gary. Good. And um, you know, stay up with the outdoors, you know. Guys need to keep involved. You need to stay involved, especially on the state and federal level. It's just such a part of what we do. We can't lose it. And, and there are a lot of people out there who are threatening us to lose, um, you know, not only on the state level, but the federal level, too. So you just got to stay involved and, and join an organization, you know, CCA. Um, there are a lot of other ones that you can get involved with. Uh, I know the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation is, is kind of strong here. Safari Club International has a chapter here in South Louisiana. Delta Waterfowl. You know, Delta DU. Waterfowl, DU. There's just so many things. And public access. You wrote about all these Yeah, things. public Every access year. is becoming an increasing problem, not only here but across the country. So uh, make sure you stay involved. You know, know who your politicians are, know who your elected officials are, and, and make your voice heard. You got a reason to sweat. I've seen you sweat when it was 30 degrees. You're always sweating, but look, right now it's 97 degrees, 106. Yeah, it's, it's, an, it's amazing, you know. Um, we saw this coming. When that Bermuda high sets in, uh, the sea's flat now, but it, it shoots up there. And everybody you talked to this weekend said it's just been incredibly hot. So that's not going away anytime soon. Stay hydrated. That's the best advice. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. part about being a member of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative is that it's your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. That's the power of your co-op membership. Demco, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. neighbor Tony, he looked at me and said, man, you're crazy. You're about to leave out in this weather. And I said, sir, I have a tag fish to go catch you. I won this beautiful boat catching a tag red fish in Venice, Louisiana. There's 100 redfish waiting. It all starts Memorial Day weekend. Sign up today. Welcome to the Golden Meadow Fouchon Rodeo, the International Tarpon Rodeo. We missed that way in. Get is the Waymaster, Mr. Marty Bourgeois. Mr. Marty, 
I know you've been at the Grand Isle Rodeo, and I, I, I just found out something new. You've been doing this rodeo longer than the Grand Isle Rodeo. I know it's 20-something years. How long have you been doing this rodeo? Uh, this rodeo is uh, approximately 30 years. I don't have the exact date, but it's, it, I've actually been doing this rodeo longer than the, the Grand Isle Rodeo. We've got rodeo. some long days here. In three days, it starts on Thursday. This is the second day. We've seen some tarpons. Any surprises so far? No, I, well, I, I would say the tarpon. You know, it's it's many years we don't see a tarpon because it's kind of early in a tarpon season. Yeah. But uh, we've got this one that weighed 75 and a half pounds, and we've got two on our way to the scales by, from Coon West. And uh, I think most people we who might fish tarpon hang around Coon. But uh, anyhow, it's a team effort here. It's not just Marty. I'm Roman Robichaux. Nah, you caught that fish. That's your first tarpon? Uh, third. Yeah, you said something now. They're getting to weigh that big one, big one. Yours weighed how much? Um, I think like 130. Yeah, this one right here going to be 150. Look how big it is. Yeah, like 150. It's a bone rubber show. Caught that big one. I'm over some. You know, yes, Coon's a legendary fisherman, and I asked him, I said, take a guess. He said about 150. Weighed 149.4. Pretty close, right? Well, pretty close. I guess right. you get close to that. Absolutely. Where were y'all fishing? I think Grand Bayou. You know, I'm not supposed to tell any secrets, I right? No, you don't have to. <laughs> just the area. Yeah, now. Nah. West Delta. Are, are you you West say Delta. your family's a veteran. My you husband's the, family, yes. And your sister got the world record? My daughter. Your daughter? Yes, who's 17 now, but when she was 14, she has a junior world record. Okay. Which one of, how this stands on the list right now, fish you've caught? My second one right. in my life. I, my first one was with Coon. It was 172 pounds. And this one, as you know, it's 149. Mm -hmm. Zero. Ain't no sugar, boy, but that thing is better than I thought it was. I never drank these energy drinks, but I'll tell you what, I'm starting. Especially when you run it, the more I schedule. Hey, well known here in Leeville, Golden Meta, Grand Dial, just David. David, bro, David. You're always in that kayak division, you're always placing. How you standing right now? Uh, I got first place, speckled trout, and third place, and my son's in second place. He and we kayak well, we, we, we're two and a half hours from the close. Yep. You take a hold up? Uh, some years it will, some years it won't. What about you? What you was telling me, what was your best bait today? Actually, live shrimp. I caught them all live shrimp on the beach in Grand Island. Okay, live shrimp. I see a lot of people. I see I'm riding in the marsh. I'm the elms all. It's a bunnies, a cockle minnows, minnows all over in the marsh. Uh, there's a few people you fishing cockle minnows. Well, cockle minnows in the marsh are good. Those reds love the minnows up up in the Golden Meadow area. Um, I saw a friend of mine, uh, Kaylin Johnson, had his redfish stringer in uh, and uh, first, second, and third redfish for the uh, kayak division. He fishes up the bayou, catches the, the redfish. I usually beat him on the beach with speckled trout. So, uh, so it's hard. It's hard to fish both of them. Not only being good looking, you always been involved in everything. What do you see different this year in, the, in this rodeo, the Golden Medal Rodeo? I know you're on the board, you did everything. What what you what y'all did different? Uh, great crowd, great weather. What? I don't know. We, what, we, we, what did y'all change? We're having good sponsors. We have that air-conditioned tent. That made a big difference starting a few years ago. So they have a cook-off inside the tent, air-conditioned. So that really draws a crowd. They had a good crowd yesterday. And, and you'll have people here today. It's a good family, fun event. Like I said, been fishing with my son side-by-side side for years and uh, and still enjoy it as the family fishing yeah. rodeo go to Metafusha. This event was great this year. The biggest thing this year, we had wonderful weather. We could not ask for better fishing weather. It was a little warm, but it works out great because we got an air-conditioned tent for people to come in after fishing and cool off. We had amazing attendance this year. People are here ready for awards now. We got an auction fixing to go off. It's been a great year. Thank you. We had a great time at the media day. Had a great admiral this year. I want to shout out to him. Dr. Gaston, hey, let me thank you again. You do a great job of putting it on. You're getting ready to party here. We're ready to party. I, Food is outstanding. Absolutely, absolutely. And look, it takes an army to put this on. We have a great group of volunteers to help us out. And without them, we couldn't do it.
Without all the businesses in the community who sponsored this event, we couldn't put on this event. Just a great event. If you ain't here this year, come back next year. Thank you again, Ed. <laughs>